Good day everyone for miners. Today's video we're going to recover silver from circuit breaker. And as you can see there's a 60 ampere and 30 ampere what uh, see what is the difference in there. And this one uh, that I was extracted from a 400 amper 6 uh, con contact from 400 amper breaker and let's take a look uh, we open this and we collect the contact from this big breaker see that contact from circuit breaker and this one too and this one let's open it this one this is the contact 60 ampere this one also And we lock this 30 ampere breaker and this is the contact from 30 ampere breaker it's already born so we're going to extract first from this uh, attachment from the contact uh, position so it's up to you and if this is all I extract from the circuit breaker need to remove contact points by heating through my torch And this one also, we don't uh, process this one because lock likes silver plated, but it's not silver plated, that is tungsten. So we recover silver only contact. So next, we extract this to my torch. Okay, this is all I get. As you can see the silver contact from 30 ampere and 60 ampere is too small than 400 ampere I had I had extracted before and also this one this is the 600 ampere big breaker so in the other of that uh, is unknown so Let's proceed to the process by digested to the nitric acid with water and precipitate by copper. The silver contact is added to the breaker and covered up with water. And next we add uh, directly HNO3. Our nitric acid uh, is highly concentrated and react immediately. Cover up and leave alone. And I think the, digest the digestion is almost complete. And I wonder how some of them are not in touch with nitric acid I don't know what kind of material is that so there it is 
once we falter capture some solid remain and precipitate through copper filtering is almost done as you can see there's some fumes inside because of the excess of nitric acid So it's done filtering some solid R capture from this lotion. So let's take this, and this is our silver solution. So it's done filtering some solid R capture from this lotion so let's take this and this is our silver solution transfer to this beaker for precipitation with copper And this time, I think all silver are precipitated because there's no silver cemented in there. So let's remove the copper. The blue solution turned to green. So we are allowing to settle down some of my silver floating in there. I think some copper sulfate are continue to dilute to the nitric acid excess in there. So let's update you after this reaction. about cleaning the silver in this process you need you don't need a special skills it's only to add hot tap water three times until there's no green color in there so this is the third times and now I pour into this filter to capture some floating in silver and after this we melt this one after five times adding hot tap water and multiple rinses of tap water this is our silver
and we dry this one to to my hot air and then we melt beautiful silver so let's take on the skill we melt again Remelt is done. Let's take on the scale. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. You know what? That's silver, man. That's awesome, baby. Let's take on this skull. How much we got? It's beautiful silver. Silver man. Let's turn on our skill. Nineteen point five gram of silver, ninety percent. Not bad, so. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below. God bless everyone. Sorry,